sorry about this. One second, what did? Okay, now it's recording, okay. Yes. So this is a sikha that deals with the difference between Yidin and Goyim. Some of the Pratim and difference between Yidin and Goyim. All Goyim are called B'nai Nayach because Nayach is the source. Everyone is, all human beings are descendants of Nayach. And therefore, the sikha, which is in Pasha's Nayach, uh, is a sikha that talks about the B'nai Nayach. So that's why it's in, the, in Pasha's Nayach. Because the sikha is chedik tesvav, sikha dala to Pasha's Nayach. And the sikha starts with a Mishnah in Pirkei Ovis. State the Mishnah, it says in Pirkei Ovis in the Mishnah. And I'll translate into English. It means like this. Beloved is man, for he was created in the image of God. It's even a greater love that it was made known to him that he was created in the image of God. As it stated, and the Rebbe didn't quote, but the Rebbe does quote the the Pasuk also, it says, for in the image of God he made man. And then, the Rebbe doesn't bring at this point the other part of the Mishnah, but I'm going to read the other part of the Mishnah also. So the first part we just read, that a person is beloved, that he was created in the Selim, in the image of God, and there's a special love, the fact that he knows about it, that he was created in the image of God. And then the Mishnah continues. And I'll read it first in the Lashon Kedish in the Hebrew. Chavivim Yisrael shenikru bonim lamokim, chiva yeseir in the das lem shenikru bonim lamokim, shenemar, which means that after he says, Beloved is man, that he was created in the image of God, it says, Beloved are the people of Israel, for they are called children of God. It's even a greater love that it was made known to them that they are called children of God. As it said, quote the Pesach, you are the children of Lord your God. Then there's the third part of the Mishnah. Beloved are the people of Israel. I'll read it first in the Hebrew, actually. Chavivim Yisrael shenitin lem kleichemdo, chiba yisayin lem shenitin lem which means the love that the people of Israel for a precious article was given to them. It's even a greater love that was made known to them that they were given a precious article. As it is said, I have given you a good teaching to not forsake my Torah. But the first part is the one that the Rebbe quotes in the Sikha right in the beginning, that again, beloved is a person that was created in the image of God, and then it says, And the extra love is there that he's known that he was created with Selim. So the Teisvis Yontes, one of the Mephorshim on Mishnais is the Teisvis Yontes, one of the most famous Mephorshim, says, And from the fact that the Tana in the Mishnah brings the Raya that the Tana the Mishnah And from the fact that the Tana in the Mishnah brings the Raya that this love is given to a person that, because, that he was created in the image of God is quoted, brought from a posik that talks about Neach and his children. He's moving so from that. We understand as mitchaviv odom that when the Mishnah says that a person, a human being, is beloved, that gemein beyodom bechlal eich neach means everybody, all human beings, even goyim. In other words, this part of the Mishnah, where the Mishnah says beloved is a man that was created b'tzelem, the image of God. He's talking also about Goyim, all human beings. That's what the text of Yontif says. And by the way saying this, he explains the change in the Loshan. Why in this part of the Mishnah, the Tana uses the expression, Odom is beloved, uses the word Odom. And the next few parts of the Mishnah, he says, in Yisrael. There he says, the Yidin are beloved. The other two parts of the mission is talking about the Milos of Eden. That Eden are called Nikrobon and Lamokim. The next part of the mission is that beloved, beloved are the Eden, they're called children to Hashem. And the one after that, it says, Beloved are the Eden, that Nitalam Kleichemda, that a very special, precious thing was given to them. So those parts are talking about Eden. So that's why it says, Chavivim Yisrael. But the first part of the Mishnah, which says, man is beloved that he was created in the image of God, is though by clawless minna madaber, that's by all human beings. Human beings are called madaber. You know, there are four categories in the world, demon, samaya, chai, madaber. The human beings are madaber. I think first to Goyim also, they are also in this category of nivra b'tselem, that they were created with the image of God. When the nafkimina from them, 
the difference the Gabe Yidin is what to them what the minion that Angi shot him sich tobes was he said oh it's very good maybe also man because the churi could ask a shayla if this is talking about going why does he put it into the Mishnah which is a Mishnah mesich tobes which is given to Yidin mesich tobes is telling Yidin what to do so why is it negaya sich tobes which telling Yidin what to do how to behave telling him that a guy is also created in the image of God. He's a masbid like him sagd into Rambam. He explains it based on what the Rambam says. The Rambam writes like this. Tziva Meish Rabbein Olav HaSholom Epi Akvuro. Meish Rabbein the commanded from Hashem, giving the commandment from Hashem. Loko Veskol Boya Elam, that he didn't have an obligation to force all people of the world, all those who are in the world, Lekabel Mitzvah Shinitzav Ebnei Neach. To accept upon themselves the mitzvahs that were given to the bnei neach to the goyim. We know there are seven mitzvahs given to the goyim, so the yidden are obligated to force the goyim to keep to accept those mitzvahs. When they darf makayims and the mitzvahs nitin zad hechra das and ramah mivnet that when they do mitzvahs, when the goyim are obligated to do their seven mitzvahs, it should not be because their das, their intellect, directs them to do those mitzvahs. Rabbi Pnei Shetziva Bema Kodesh Baruch Abatayra. The Rambam says they have to do it. Because Hashem and Torah commanded that they should do it, so it's an obligation on the Eden that the Eden should see that the goyim do their mitzvahs, and that they see they should see that they should do it because the Eibushter in by Hart Sinai by Matan Torah told the Eden to tell the goyim that they have to do it. And this is what the Tanya the Mishnah means when it says that a man is beloved that he was created with a tzelim. And as we said before, the Teis Pesiyontov says it goes on going. The meat gitter and unvising the Azayi Eid dar from Kem by Virk from Kol Boy Elam to Folden who is Folden Mitzvah Hakodesh Baruch to say. But the mission is trying to tell us, and the question was, what's the gate to us? What they wish to do to the goyim? Why is it a mission in Pirkei Avos? The answer is, since they have to keep the mitzvahs, so that's what we have to make sure that they keep the mitzvahs. So it's an obligation on us. That they should keep the mitzvahs because Hashem commanded it. So how can we do that? So does it Duchmas Bezayin Zeir Chvivis by showing that they, they're being beloved? Shenivra B'Tzelem that even the goyim were created with the Tzelem of Hashem, which is the image of Hashem. But the Rebbe is mutlo of Aser Itzan Kenei. Since even the goy was created with the image of Hashem, so the goy is obligated to do what the Creator told him to do. So it's and since it's negaya to Yidin because Yidin have the obligation to make sure that the goyim do it. That's what the Mishnah tells to Yidin tells us that you should know that they have they're created b'tzelem. But mainly you are able to convince them to do the seven mitzvahs that they have to do because David should say because since they're created b'tzelem of David should they have to do it. That's how the taste says Yonta learns pshat in this Mishnah. As he moved in the Porsche, that's understood. As I feel like them pirish as Adam do made them ganze min amedaber. Even according to the Teis Vesyontev, it says that this Mishnah, when it says Choviv Adam, that man was beloved because his created B'Tselem goes on all human beings. He's over Kelo Eicha Ben Yisrael. It says Zichan Nevi B'Tselem. Certainly, it goes on Yid also. It doesn't mean only on Goyim. It goes on Yid also. When Dos is Mashem Mitin Pirish from Pesach is made of Chomi Admor, and this fits to um, something that the Friedrich Rebbe writes in the Maimet. There is this concept called nefesh asichlis, and let me stop for a moment and explain it. We know that every human being, everything in the world, but every human being especially has a nefesh. A nefesh means a soul. What's a soul? A life force. In other words, a person could be without a life, and he still has hands and feet, but he's not alive, and then you have a life. So the life is an addition to the body. So every person has a life force in his body. There's a difference between Yidin and Goyim. By Goyim, we say the nefesh that they have, this life force that they have, which makes them alive, is called the nefesh Bahamis. By Yidin, it's called nefesh. It's not called. It is a nefesh alikis. Nefesh Bahamis means it's a nefesh, which is a soul, which is not something tangible. It's more spiritual. It's life. Life you can't touch. You can't see the life. But we know it's there. But it's part of the creation of the world, part of the nature of the world. The nature of the world is that you have a human being. And the human being is alive, and he has a life force. That is called sometimes nefesh achiyunis, the nefesh that gives him chayis, gives him push of life. Sometimes it's called the nefesh hativis, the nefesh that naturally gives him life. Because part of the nature of the world, when Yehoshua created the world, he created in such a way that there is the body, and the body has a soul in it, has a nefesh in it. 
which is more spiritual. It's not ruch, it's not godliness, but it's more spiritual, but it's part of nature. And that's nefesh abahamis, that's called the animalistic soul. And the goy is alive because he has a nefesh. What kind of nefesh? nefesh the regular nefesh achiyuni is nefesh ativis, which is called nefesh abahamis. A yid is alive not only because he has a nefesh, a natural nefesh that pushes like every human being. A yid has a nefesh alikis. A yid is alive because he has a life force which is beyond the creation of the world, beyond the nature of the world. It's something Hashem gave him to the Eid, which without nature, he doesn't need it. Naturally, he could live without that. But he makes us live through the Nefesh Elikis. So by Eid, it's a Nefesh Elikis. Then there's another thing called Nefesh HaSichlis, which means that the Nefesh that a person has, a human being has, has an extra aspect to it that he has Seichel. He has an understanding. He's able to have, he has an intellect. He's able to understand things which other creatures don't have that. So there is the nefesh that gives him life that he should be able to function. And by a goy, it's nefesh abamis, by it's nefesh alikis. But besides that, there is a nefesh asichlis. There is the nefesh, the life force that you have is a, has a special aspect that it has seichel. And in Chesidus it says, in Kabbalah it says, that when it says that a human being was created with selim alikim, that selim, that image of God, is the fact that we have seichel. And it brings all kinds of rayas and Ramazi where we find that seme, where we see that selim refers to this nefesh asichlis, this nefesh of seichel that a human being has. A fill of a is we can know simply which way is there an expression of the person being similar kiviyachal to the Ebrish that the person also has seichel. Other animals don't have seichel, other creatures don't have seichel. A person has seichel, so the image of Hashem refers to the seichel that a person has, and that's a special kaya that the Ebrish put in. A nefesh, in the nefesh that the person has that he's alive, he has a nefesh hasichlis. Part of that is nefesh hasichlis, but it's a separate unit, so to speak, as nefesh hasichlis. And that's there by Yidin and by Goyim. Goyim have a nefesh hasichlis. A ne part of the nefesh of their life is that they're able to have an understanding, a seichel, and the Yid has that. So the Friedrich Rebbe writes, Asela main the nefesh hasichlis or tiparad, side by Yidin, and side by Neleach. The Selem, which is a nefesh hasichlis, is by Yidin and Goyim. So this is what we just said a minute ago, that even though the Tzvizyontev says that this is talking about a goy, but it didn't mean only a goy. Because since the Tzelem refers to the Nefesh HaSichlis, the Nefesh HaSichlis is there by Goyim and Lahadu by Yidin. And the Kefal Loshna Mishneh. And now we'll understand, the Mishneh says double expression. Chaviv Odom Shnikra B'Tzelem, a person is beloved because he's created with the image. There's a special love that he was created with the Tselem. Why does it say twice? So the way we learn Pashup Shat means that the, the second part is that it's another Chaviva, something else to show the love of Hashem, that he notified us. But the way the Friedrich Rebbe teaches, the way it comes out, is that they're talking about two separate, they're both the same thing. They're talking about Nivra B'Tselem, which is the fact that you have a Nefesh HaSichlis, but we're talking about two parts. Does gate in this that a human being was created with the tselem, and the tselem is the nefesh hasichel, the fact that you have life force that allows you, gives you the seichel, there are two parts to it. The first part where it says a human being is beloved, that he was created with the gate of the nefesh hasichel, the Fidik Rebbe says that, that that goes on all human beings, all human beings have the tselem, which means all human beings have this extra thing, the nefesh hasichel, not just on nefesh Bahamis that gives you life. There's a, the nefesh has a chilek of seichel that it gives you the ability to seichel. And the second part where it says there's an extra love that you know that you were created with Selim. Why does it repeat it? Main the nefesh ha-sichlis should be Yisrael. That refers to the nefesh ha-sichlis as vayid. What's ir tselem is hechef and tselem from kolos min anushi. Later the Rebbe will explain the sib dalet. Even though it seems like it's the same, there is one nefesh asichlis and goyim have it and yidin have it, but lapel by yidin this is an extra thing. The tselem that the yid has, the nefesh asichlis that the yid has, is different than the nefesh asichlis that goyim has. So the bottom line is that when it says nifra but tselem goes on all human beings, they all have this nefesh asichlis, which the tselem is the similarity to Hashem that there is a concept of seichel, which is an addition to the union of the nefesh stam that you have, and there you have two matrikes. There's a tselem that nefesh asichlis by a goy. And there's a higher level of nefesh asichlis by yid. Af apikein. So lechuda, there are two parts. But still, for them gufos in inyan atzelim is dodet zadashovetz lishnit mitbenei nayach. Since 
Nevertheless, as much as we say they're different, but there's one common denominator that they both are Yid and a Goy. Yidin and Goyim have the Nefesh HaSichlis. Is Vashtandik as Eil that sell of Nayidin is, and we'll skip the brackets for one moment, is Sodiv Zayin Aveda Al Sumid Bnei Neyach. The fact that the Yid has a Nefesh HaSichlis different than the Nefesh HaSichlis of a Goy, but since it's something that he has in common with the Goy, so it means that the Nefesh HaSichlis of a Yid is the king that he has it because he has to do work with the Goyim. The Mele, the Nefesh HaSichlis has a connection between Yidin and Goyim because a Yid has to use his Nefesh HaSichlis to with Goyim. Which means, going back to the brackets in a second, that Selam of a Yid is Nita Zeit to live in Yonim Vavedi Sevel Cheres Vagam Ruiz Gitel Tana Bneach. Since this is something that he didn't have similar to a guy, different but similar, is not because it has to do with a yid when in his aveda separated from a guy. That's what you would think by a yid that has nothing to do with goyim. It's his own aveda, so it's not only that. When there's zeros of din yonim kumt in the vayter dikibobis, the mile of a yid as a yid nothing to do with goyim. That's written in the next parts of the mishnah. When the mile of the next parts and the mile of the mishnah. Chavivim Yisrael Shenikra Bonim Lamakim. The next part of the Mishnah, Yidin our beloved, that they're called children to Hashem. Shenita Lam Koy Chemdo, that they got the precious thing which is a Torah. The Milus of Chavivas was Zuzi Gitel for the Parid Nalein. Those are Milus specialties, qualities that have to do with Yidin themselves, have nothing to do with Goyim. But here, since this is something that, to a certain degree, there is a similarity, and we have it in common with Goyim, so that shows that the Iker, this Inyan of the Nefesh Hasichlis. Is to design Aveda als umid b'neinoya. This is he has to do Aveda as being similar lahavdal to a goy, certain similarities, and what you have to do with the goy. So says as eich in der Aveda is negei and nitnor as a b'neiach is nivra b'tzelon. That even in this Aveda, it's not only negei important that a goy is nivra b'tzelon. Was the far as mutlo of blaser at sankeni. Like we said before, why is it important for us to know? Because since a goy is nivra b'tzelon. Created in the image of Hashem, so he's obligated to listen to Hashem. It's more than that. But this is also telling us that there is a tzela by Yidin, that there is something by Yidin which is similar to them, but in a higher level. But it's not only something that's set by Yid, something by Nigeya Yid. It, this has to do with the Yidin, the way they're connected to the Goyim. We have to understand what is negay in the minya puchave vodim shniver b'tzelam. So we understand why is what's the inyan, what's the negay in this concept that that person was created b'tzelam. The shaykh is the mitzvah of a neyach that after the same kinyan the far was mitzvah b'tzelam k'pirish tesis yontef, which means that this explains that the tesis yontef says that that's why he's obligated and able to do the mitzvah that he was given because he was created b'tzelam. As if by yidin is not the ma'ila b'chivus. Why is that negay that yidin also have the ma'ila b'tzelam? What's, where do we see the connection? Selim by a goy is there, and the Mele Tesis Yontav explains the Mishnah is telling us that he's able to do his mitzvahs. And the Yid is able to help him do the mitzvahs, to force him to do the mitzvahs, because the goy has selim, so the goy could do it, and the Yid could help him. What's the Gaya to connect to that, that the Yid also has the selim? Not in the higher in the in the higher Why is it? The fact that the Yid himself has a selim, the Gaya, to the fact that the goy has a selim. And we must say, since they have something in common, there must be some connection that the Yid Selim, which is in Satan Nefesh HaSichlis, and the Goy Selim have some connection. But what's the connection? The Goy has a Selim, that's his Inyan, and Yid has a Selim, that's his Inyan. But there must be that it's not only Stam, it's another Inyan, a higher Inyan, but it has to do with the Inyan of the Selim of the Goy. So that's one Shiloh that asks. Another thing we have to understand, that this is Yonte brought the Rambam. What the Rambam says as I said, that there's a commandment to Eden, lock of Kolboyo Elam, to force all those in the world, means all human beings, the Kabbal Mitzvah and Sabah Neyach, to accept the mitzvahs that were commanded to the Goyim. But Nochma the Rambam says even more, Zena the Kima Mitzvah Shalem Zolzai Nitin Sadhechra Das, that the Yid has to see that when the Goy does his mitzvah, should not be because his Das, his intellect tells him to do it, nor by Sibah Bama Kodesh Boruch Betere. He has to make sure he has to make sure that the goy does it because in the Torah Hashem commanded us, and he told us through Meshir Abenu, and he told us through Meshir Abenu that the Goyim already were given the seven mitzvahs and they have to keep it. So that makes it clear that it has to, it's the job of the Eden to make sure they do it. 
Plus, the job is to make sure that they do it because the Torah said that they have to do it. Put it to Moab Chalz, we not understood. Why is the mitzvahs of the Goyim connected to Eden? As they dar for them, lock up as cold boy ilms, and kinds of the mitzvahs. That they even have to see to force the Goyim to do their mitzvahs. And not only that, we have to connect it, that they have to do it because of Matatera and Meshurabin. So we have this Shaila, why? What is the reason why it's negated to the Eden? It's something that they have to do. Why do they have the Eden have the obligation to make sure? And also the other the other parts of the Shaila, and they have to make sure that they do it because the Torah said so. Meshur Rabbeinu said so in the Torah. And the Rebbe continues the Shaila. But again, concerning the first part of the question, why are Eden obligated to make sure that they go and do the mitzvahs? But no, he can't mas- and Somehow you could explain that. And the Rebbe should realize Eden is on the same with the Sakhon and Sayyidim could love with Hashem. The Rebbe should want that Eden should be involved in fixing the world, to prepare the world to serve Hashem, which will be when Mashiach will come. The far darfans have a bit, and call boy Eden, sometimes that it's in Kitab. Since the Eden's obligation is to make sure that the world recognizes Hashem, so it's the obligation of the Eden that the Goyim should keep their mitzvahs. As is over it, Vashtandik, but the other thing is not understood. Why do the Goyim have to do their mitzvahs? Not because the Ebesh has said it earlier to other Medishim, because we learn now these seven mitzvahs from other Medishim, Sukim by other Medishim. That they have to do it because the Ebesh told us in the Torah, by Har Sinai, through Meshe Rabbeinu. Why is that important? That they should do it that way. For sure, it has the same shayla. We know when the Gea Yidin, there is a din, that even those mitzvahs that were given before Matan Torah, like the seven mitzvahs, all the people had to keep it. The Goyim and Yaakov Avinu, all everyone had to keep it. But there's a din that those same mitzvahs, when we keep it now, we shouldn't keep it because it was given to Avraham Avinu. Like Ramam says, we don't do mitzvahs mila because it was given to Avraham Avinu. We don't do the seven mitzvahs, which is part of our 613 also. We can't do it because it was given to other mitzvahs. We have to do it because it was given by Matan Torah. You could ask the same question. Why is it important? Who cares if you do it? Not because of Matan Torah. The same question we asked when they gave the seven mitzvahs, the Goyim. Why is it important that they do it because of Matan Torah? What's wrong if they'll do it because it was given earlier by other mitzvahs? But you could ask the same question by Eden. Why those mitzvahs that were given before, you should not do it because it was given before, but you should do it because it was given by Matan Torah. That we have to do the mitzvahs. Even those mitzvahs that were given, were commanded before Matan Torah, like mitzvah Mila, we have to do it. We have to do it because the Abish gave that mitzvah to Meish Rabbeinu, that he should tell the Eden by Hasinai. So the Chura says, that is not a kasha. That is fashtandu. That we understand. Because Matan Teira made a complete change in the Yidin. That's when Hashem chose the Yidin. So everything changed. So even the mitzvahs that they did before was different. Now they're different. Now they were chosen by Hashem. So even the same mitzvahs that were there before are different now. But that's only the Yidin. With the question we ask, what about the Goyim? What connection does Matan Teira have to Goyim to Zogun that tells us our far Matan Teira and the kind of mitzvahs and certain tzivim Hashem to other Medishim? Before Matan Teira, they did the mitzvahs because it was told to other Medishim. When Noch Matan Teira and after Matan Teira, they only should do it while tzivim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Teira al Demeish Rabbi Nelu Bashalom. After Matan Teira, they have to do it because it was given to to by Matan Teira. Matan Teira had effect on Yidin. That Yidin became different people. So now they have to do it in, in a different way. I don't mean physically in a different way. I mean because of a different reason, because it's given by Hashem, by Matan Teireh. But the guy in Matan Teireh didn't change them. Matan Teireh didn't change them. Who cares if they'll do the mitzvahs, their mitzvahs, because it was given to other mitzvahs before. Why does it have to be because of Matan Teireh? Betten does fashtein behind them the beer from Kvek, which was made with Chomi Admur, and then Yisrael for Nefesh HaSichl, with Salaf and Aiden, covered the Nefesh HaSichl, she will call us in the So to explain the Rebbe said like this, he's quoting the Fiddik Rebbe who explains we said before that the Nefesh HaSichlis is there by Goyim and everybody. Side the Nefesh Abamis, the Goyim has a Nefesh HaSichlis, which is an additional part that not only he's alive and is functioning and has all the keiches and has all the emotion, has all the attributes, but he has Seichel, which is Seichel, something special. That's a Nefesh HaSichlis. 
But the Goyaz Nefesh Sikh is a Yid as Nefesh Sikh. But we said before that as much as a Yid and a Goy both have Nefesh Sikh, they're not the same. The Nefesh Sikh of a Yid is different than Nefesh Sikh of a Goy. What's the difference? So the Friedrich Rebbe and Amayim explains like this. As in Ir, Nefesh Sikh of Nishamas Yisrael, he's quoting it, that in the Nefesh Sikh of a Yid, feel Sikh Aruchnes Dikya Edelkeit. You could feel a spiritual Edelkeit. Edelkeit means that the uh, Edel, refined, a refined type of thing. When we talk about nefesh asichlis, we're not talking about godly seichlis. Nefesh alikis has to do with godliness. When you learn teira, you're learning with the nefesh alikis. We're talking nefesh asichlis is seichel, not of nefesh alikis. It's a nefesh asichlis al seichel. So even though this is not godly, because it's the seichel that a human being has, and that's why we said before, a goy has a seichel, which is something special that he has, and he has the seichel. And we're talking about seichel of belt, tepid, seichel of nature, natural seichel. So by a yid, even though it's natural, say natural, not godly, you could feel in the seichel that the yid has a ruch nizdik edelkeit, a something special of ruch nizdik, of, of spirituality, of refinement. Even though we're talking about the seichel, Human seichel, natural seichel. Nevertheless, the seichel of a yid has a connection to ruchnis de keidelkeit, to god, to spiritual refinement. But the nefesh asichlis of a non-Jew is a megushim de kefeshtan. It's a coarse understanding. We see mavuir bekamer mekemis vegnulimit chachmas petzenius, like it says in many places that when you learn secular studies. As they bring in the mentions, I had from Yeshis. If you learn it and you understand it, what does it do? It brings you to ego. It brings you to Yeshis, to Fidel Metzias. These are the script of in Gassas. It's even worse, not Yeshis. It's just your own Metzias, your own ego. Gassas means grobkeit. It makes you grob. So the Chura, here you have a Seichel. You're learning Seichel. Seichel is a pure knowledge, pure intellect. But what does it do to a person normally? It makes a person more Balgaiv. It makes a person more Yesh. And that's only by a goy. By a yid, even when he understands regular seichel, tipis dik, a natural seichel, it has a certain edelkeit in it, it has a certain refinement in it. So the Rebbe goes on to explain you. We have to understand. What seichel? What's the true meaning of seichel of intellect? Is to verify the truth of something. That's what it is. Seichel is something that in, the, in itself you to, when you want to figure something out, I'll be seichel. What you're trying to do is to get to the truth. And therefore, it has to be pure. If a person mixes in his own tears, he mixes in his own motives and things like that, that's not pure seichel. Then there's other things involved. There's midas involved. Pure seichel, looking at the thing to understand it. What is the truth? When you say one and one equals two, that's a seichel, a very elementary seichel, but it's a seichel. And that's the truth. That's what seichel is. But the fire is for seichel, so to trong zich, to hecher von egen and tears, of nears, for zich. That's why the concept of seichel is to put yourself, connect yourself to something that's beyond your own motives, beyond your own inclinations of yourself. And there's a post that says, Ruach Adam the spirit of a person goes up, which means you elevate yourself, you remove yourself from your own motives, from your own things that you want. By an animal, it says the spirit of an animal is to go down. The animal cares only about itself. By a person, a person has seichel. And the seichel is to elevate yourself, remove yourself from your own personal megiyas here, personal motives, and look at the things to see what is truth. I'm just giving an example. When you go to a judge, the whole purpose of a judge is not to pass him because he likes you or he doesn't like you or this is what will be political like this. That is not a real judge. A judge means think about the seichel and come to the true understanding what the truth is. Removing yourself from yourself, so to speak. So that's what seichel is. So how taki is it that the teva of the nefesh asichel is? We said before the previous rabbi writes that the nature of the nefesh asichel of a non-Jew could lower yourself to grubkeit and to your own yeshes and to your own mitzias, your own ego. But the whole concept of seichel is to remove yourself from your ego, to elevate yourself from your ego. So he goes on like this. Be shleim the seichel for nefesh abahamis. Now we have like this. We said the nefesh asichlis is pure seichel. 
That's not the seichel of the Nefesh The Nefesh is, is the normal life that a person has that he's alive. And that's part of nature. And when it comes to part of nature, nature is ego. Yes. And the person's nature is himself. That's what the person cares about himself. Now, you could have a seichel of the Nefesh But in the Nefesh there's a seichel, not pure seichel. Nefesh seichel is this pure seichel removed from the Nefesh It's when you get involved in the seichel. There is a concept of seichel of Nefesh When a person has his own motives and he starts thinking of ideas and the motives. That's called seichel ashaich lemidis. That's seichel, but that's not pure seichel. It's seichel, which is connected to emotions. Because you love yourself, and this is going to be good for you. You're going to think ways of doing it. Or you, you start understanding. That's why it's a sheikh ad yavad. If you take bribery, it makes you think crooked. Because now automatically, you're not thinking the true seichel. You're thinking of what's good for me, because this guy gave me money, so I want to be good to him. So it's emotion that's evolved. So when it comes to seichel of nef shabamis, when the seichel is a seichel that comes from your natural life, your own natural life, and your nature is yourself. Therefore, Balda, the Seichel, since the type of Seichel that is connected because of the Midas, what's Midas? What's emotions? Feeling yourself. He's moving. So understand that if you had the Seichel that's connected to the Nefesh Abahamis, it's not pure Seichel. It's connected to the Midas. Midas means my emotions, my feelings, me. So that type of understanding will bring you to Yeshit. Will connect to your ego, to make your gases grow, and so far. Oh, but the nefesh asichl is echpan abeneach dochnitzul libida. When we talk about the nefesh asichl, we say that person has the ability, and that's called the nefesh, that his life has a certain aspect, but not the nefesh abamis, a certain aspect of being able to understand the seichel kamesh as it is pure. Nor is he seichel to the minyan asichl atzma. That's called seichel for the seichel itself, for the intellect itself. Vidalimut mechachmas atchunok kitayim. Like when you learn astronomy. There's no gain you have. See, somebody learns astronomy because he wants to figure out that how you uh, could uh, go up to the moon and then he'll get, he'll become famous. That's not the real thing. But if you learn astronomy, the shame learning astronomy, just to know the astronomy. There's no negias, no motives you have a normal person. That's nothing to do with your midas. And that's pure seichel. Why do we say that the nefesh seichel is of a goy will lead you to yeshes and gases? When seichel is something beyond your yeshes. So it comes a contradiction. If it's a nefesh ha-seichel, which is pure seichel, so it shouldn't read the yeshes. Is the beer and then to the explanation why it would lead me to yeshes. The egg shop and seichel is to strong sich to hechef and sich. The quality of seichel is to put yourself, connect yourself to something that's beyond you, not having your own ego, your own mitzvah involved. Is verbunden mit dem, what the man shrech and sich nicht mit seine tiere chulu, mit sich. That comes only if a person doesn't care about himself. He's not pushed, turned toward himself. That's called beetle atzmei. You're mavatl yourself. You nullify yourself. You nullify your messias, and you're sitting purely just to get the true seichel. You bow that the seichel for nefesh ha-seichel is in inyon ha-yo But since the nefesh ha-seichel we're talking is not nefesh ha So it's seichel in veltish things, in worldly matters. But in is yesh as messias. The worldly matters on their own is a yesh. Everything in the world has yeshes. Like there's an expression that everyone, everything that is there, you care for yourself. Kol dovor, I don't know if that expression fits here, punkt, but it's all that. Kol dovor, everything wants its own existence. There's nothing in a person, the nature of a thing is against itself. It's all itself. It says even, see that it, someone, if uh, Nanjur Gomez said it's nefesh because he thinks he's going to gain more. So the whole Metzias of Veld is Yeshes. Everything in the world is that it's, it's a something. It's a something. So when a person has Seichel, which has to do with worldly matters, and that's Nefesh HaSeichel, it's nefesh, nothing to do with Teireh. That's Nefesh HaLekiz. Nefesh has to do with Veld. Like he said, astronomy. You think about astronomy. But astronomy is about the solar system. So we're talking about, gosh, things of this world. And things of this world is a Metzias. So the thought, the understanding of this world has to do with yeshes. Was the lost need the tzutrog zich fechef and zich the boy. So therefore, when you have and use your seichel, even the seichel which is pure seichel, but since you are using the pure seichel in the nyonim of Velt, it doesn't allow you a hundred percent to remove yourself from your own yeshes, from yeshes, because that's what the mitzvah of Velt is yeshes, and the mitzvah of Velt is yeshes. 
And this is the seichel of the Yonifim Bell. And those, but we said before, but the Nefesh HaSichel of is not like that. And those were the Nefesh HaSichel of Ayid. And this that we said by Nefesh HaSichel of Ayid, but it's Eichas Kolein in Yonayil of Seichel Anushim. We're always talking about understanding, using your intellect in worldly things. Seichel Anushim, human things. But yeah, how come that does have a sticking at the clap in Yiddish means a connection to Ruchnes Dikeitelkeit to spiritual refinement? It does not as a mitzadatzme. That's not because the seichel that you're thinking has that quality that it's removed completely from any yeshes and it has to do with spirituality. Because a yid has a nefesh lekis, a nefesh lekis is beyond the world. But he paled a bit like a nefesh sichel since Ayid has nefesh lekis, so the nefesh hasichel is of Ayid, which is in the same person, has a connection to Edelkeit, has a connection to Ruchnis. Because the nefesh lekis is beyond the world. And like I said before, what's the the nefesh lekis by Ayid? Nefesh lekis, like David, they gave a nefesh into Ayid, which is not part of the nature. And it's logical. For the nature of a person, even of Ayid, you don't need the nefesh lekis. A guy is alive also and also could do everything and think and know everything that he wants he could do and he's a normal person and functions. A yid could do that too. Why is there an official lakis in the yid? Because the apish they put something into the yid which is beyond nature. Nature is something that's yeshes. But the nefesh lakis is something beyond nature so there is no yeshes. So since the nefesh asichlis of a yid is the nefesh asichlis of the yid who has an nefesh lakis, so the nefesh asichlis by him the pure seichel, even in natural things, is also edelet. And the far side, the nefesh asichel should be served from beis zacham, and that's why by the nefesh asichel is of a yid, you have both things. Like, and he's quoting the Friedrich of Rebbe's lashon again. Agamer is the seichel and nushi b'tiva. Even though we're talking about the seichel and nushi, the fact that the yid is able to understand gashmas tiki things, pure seichel to understand astronomy, to understand math, or to understand anything else. Doch hotter aklep zeruchnus tiki edelket. You now, nevertheless, it's connected to spiritual edelket refinement because. It's in the Yid who has a nefesh of the keys. So we see the difference between the nefesh asichel of Yid and nefesh asichel of a God, even though they both are the same, so to speak. They're both a concept that the person has this extra kayak, this extra chayas, life, nefesh, to understand in Yonim Seichel purely. As pure as it is by a Goy, it's still connected to Teva, and in Teva, there's no such thing as no yeshes. But by Yid, since it's in him who has a nefesh of the keys, nefesh of the keys is completely beyond the world, so his nefesh asichlis also has that, that connection to Ruchan Zik Eidelka. This will explain also how the Pshat, he says, the Rebbe says, of the Pridik Rebbe in the Mishnah. The Pridik Rebbe says that the two parts of the Mishnah, that the first part where it says a human being is beloved because he was created with a Tzalem, and we said the Tzalem is nefesh asichlis, Goes on the nefesh asichel she beklolus min anush. Nefesh asichel of all human beings. On chiba yisayir in das like she never said on the second part of that piece of the mishnah that there's an extra love to the person that was create that created the tzelim gate of nefesh asichel she bnei tzelim yisrael and yisrael. That goes on the second part on the nefesh asichel of a yid is merumus in the mishnah. How we see how that's hinted in the mishnah. How chobi vadim shnipper betzelim ain't when you say a person is beloved because he was created with the tzelim. What's the spare? Why is a person beloved? What does the Mishnah say? The person is beloved and goes on Goyim because he's never B'Tselem. Since he was created B'Tselem, so he's beloved. The second part says, There's a special love that he was created B'Tselem. That means like this. The word Chiba Yeseira means extra. By a yid, there is an extra love here, a special higher love that's there in the fact that he was created with Salam, which is the Nefesh HaSichlis. There is a special Chiba that the Ebeshter has by yid, a special love, and because of that love, the Ebeshter created the person with the Salam of Akim. The Nidra Bet Salam is a Tetzor from the Chiba Yaseira. By a yid, why is he created with the nef- B'Tselem, which is a Nefesh HaSichlis? Because the Ebeshter loves him more. That means the Nefesh HaSichlis that came to Eid comes as a result of the extra love of the Ebeshter. So the ne- Nefesh B'Tselem itself is already in the higher Madrege. See, by an Odom it says that what is the love, what shows the love of the Ebeshter? 
fact that you created the B'Tselem. So it comes out that the love is a result of the fact that you created B'Tselem. Let's look at the words again. A yid is beloved, a person is beloved, and a person is beloved. Why is he beloved? Because Mivra B'Tselem. Because, because of Mivra B'Tselem, because it was created B'Tselem. Why? By a yid it comes out the opposite. Because he has an extra love, that's why he was created B'Tselem. And those are the chilek sishim tzelam from a ben neich and tzelam from a yid. This is the difference between this tzelam, this nefesh asichlus between a goy and a yid. By a ben neich is like chivus inside the nefesh asichlus tzelam shpei. Why does they bestow love a person? Because he has the tzelam. What's the tzelam? The tzelam is a nefesh asichlus. So because he has a nefesh asichlus, which is higher than just gashmi, is as a nefesh asichlus pure seichel. That's why he's beloved. The chivus from a yid, well, he's farbund mit tzelam. Shabbat. The fact that Abish loves the Eid from the aspect of the Tselem is not because you have this Tselem, you have this Abish loves you. The Fakir, the opposite, by that is Choviv, what do you get in the Tselem? Because you're beloved, Abish gave you the Tselem. It's a Demba said as Aid, since he's Aid, because he's Aid. Chiba you said as Nedalat Nedasle, so there's extra love. Bees as Nivish Nivir Betselem. There's an extra love, and that extra love. Goes down, becomes into the tzelem that you have. The love makes your tzelem. That he is a never but tzelem. But when he gives a nefesh asichlus, because the Ebesha loves you, he gave you the nefesh asichlus. So a goy, because he gave you the nefesh asichlus, he loves. Now that you have a nefesh asichlus, he loves you. But a yid, he loves you, and that's why he gave you the nefesh asichlus. He loves you more. And after that is the seichel, the nefesh asichlus, which the Moshe. And by yid, since the nefesh asichlus comes as a result of the loving a yid, which is the nefesh alakis. The male is nefesh asichlis, which is the tzelem, is in higher madrega. By him is a teva for ruach odom elohim lemaila. By him, the teva of the person is that he's able to elevate himself lemaila from the world. Why? Because as the chiba you say that. What's the chiba you say that nefesh alikis? Nefesh loves him more. So nefesh loves him more nefesh alikis. And because of nefesh alikis, he gave him nefesh asichlis, which is a result of the nefesh alikis. So obviously, the nefesh asichlis of a yid is edel as a ruchnes dike edel kait. But by a goy, he has nefesh asichlis. Nefesh loves him because he has nefesh asichlus. But nefesh asichlus is pure nefesh asichlus, and we're talking about the seichel of welt. A welt is yesh, so his nefesh asichlus is also connected to yesh. By yid, nefesh asichlus connects to nefesh of the kis, so his nefesh asichlus is not yesh. It's a ruchnus the keitel kai. Thus, ech the asbor in the aloch and not from this explains the aloch in Rambam as a yid that skates and call boy elam lekabel mitzvah and sabed mineil that the yid has an obligation to force the goyim to do their mitzvahs. And the question was, why? Why do we have the obligation to force the Goyim to do the mitzvahs? Even though the Rebbe said that, you could maybe answer because we have to help, we have to bring the world to its goal, to the whole world to recognize etc., etc. But the question is, why do they have to connect it to say the mitzvahs? And even the first thing is also a question. You could say, answer that is our obligation, but there must be more to it. But now we'll understand. In order for the Aved of a Goy, when he does his mitzvahs, it should be properly, you can't rely on his seichel. The question was, who cares if a goy will do it? Because Hechra, the Raman says, he shouldn't do it because Hechra, because his das, his intellect tells him to do it. No, you have to do it because the Abish, the Bahar Sinai, told us in the Torah, through Meshach Rabbeinu, that they should do the mitzvahs. So the Rebbe says like this, Hechra, das is connected to Nefesh HaSikh. What's Hechra, das? You understand it, intellectually understand it. By a goy, in order for his Aveda to Hashem, by doing his mitzvahs, to be properly, you can't rely on his das. Because the nefesh asichlis, which is the hechra das of a goy, the nefesh asichlis, and it's thinking pure seichel. And as pure seichel as it is, you never could rely on it. It'll bring it to yeshes, like we said before. It has to be connected to a yid. If the seichel of a goy, in order, and, and he understands the mitzvahs, but it's it's guided by a yid, by yid, his nefesh asichlis is complete, that it's completely pure seichel, without yeshes, so the goy will also be able to do the mitzvahs properly and connect himself to Hashem without yeshes. In other words, he uses his seichel to understand it, but you can't rely on just the seichel. It has to be that the yid is the one that makes him understand. So the yid like passes down to him also that beetle that's there in the nefesh asichlis. 
In the beginning of the, of the Sikh, the Rebbe said, it's mashmeh that the two things are connected. With the Mishnah is telling us two things. The Goy has a Tzalem and the Yid has a Tzalem. It means Nefesh HaSichlis. The Goy is Nefesh HaSichlis. There's one way, Yid is another way. So the two separate things, but in the Mishnah is mashmeh that they go together. There's some connection between the Tzalem of a Yid to the Tzalem of a Goy. Who do I? Tzalem of a Goy is a Goy. And maybe Taka, like the Tzalem Yonta says, that the Mishnah told us that, that we should understand how it's possible for a Goy to do it. But what's the in the connection that our Tzalem, which is a different type of Tzalem, the same B'cholos as a common denominator, but it's still different. Why is that connected to the Goy? Now we understand why. The Goy has to know that in order for him to fulfill his Tzalem, which means to use his Seichel properly in order to serve Hashem and do his mitzvahs, it's only if it's connected to a yid. Because if it won't be connected to a yid, it'll not accomplish it 100%. It'll still be yeshes. And what David wants, he should serve Hashem without your yeshes. And his nefesh is connected to yeshes because it's part of velt. The velt is yeshes. The balad that sells of Bnei Yisrael is a misuver the fumas of nefesh of kis. And since by a yid, his selling is a result of the fact that he has a nefesh of kis, like we said before, by a goy, there's no such thing. So the Abisha loves him because he has a nefesh asichl, it's a tzalem. By yid opposite, because he has a nefesh alikis, because there's an extra chiba the Abisha has to a yid, that's why he gave him the tzalem, which is nefesh asichl. So the, by yid, the tzalem is a mesuvah, is a result because, that from the fact that he has a nefesh alikis. Pale the sibin, the mesuvah, main for nir aingeshaf. So this sibin, the cause of the tzalem, of the nefesh asichl, is the nefesh alikis. So it brings about in the result, in the effect, the cause brings in the effect certain qualities of the cause. The Teva Bitl and Nefesh Now, it brings that the Nefesh HaSichlis, which is the result of Nefesh HaLakis, has the quality, some qualities of the Nefesh HaLakis, which is the Bitl. And there's no Yeshet there. Therefore, when does a Goy do his Aved complete? And if he does it complete, the Ramam says, He's a separate category. As much as he's a ben he's a goy, he's called Hasidah Yom Salem, the special category. When is he in a special category, the Ramam says, only if he does the mitzvahs, all seven, because the Ebeshter in Torah told him to do it. So that, now we understand why. In order to become in the Hasidah Yom Salem, it has to be farbun, the mitzvah said, to zayin the mitzvah, the tzibah ma'atesh baruch ha'bateire, the idion al demesher ben He does it only knowing that because the Abish commanded us in the Tayra and Mesh Rabina told us, as I took the outfit so from the Gilly from Matan Tayra, that the Goy does it because by what happened by Matan Tayra. What happened by Matan Tayra? The Nidan of Bakum and Zayar Mila, the Khrivas Atsins, when Eden got their special Mila, the special love, Nikrabon and Lamok of Nitin the Klecham, that's the other two parts of the Mishnah. That they're called children to Hashem and they were given this Tayra, they're given the Klecham, the special precious thing they were given. And that's why they have to do it knowing that what they do is connected. To Matan Teire, which is when the Yidden got the Nefesh HaSichlis, and Nefesh, I mean Nefesh HaLikis, and the Nefesh HaSichlis came as a result of Nefesh HaLikis, and they connect to that, then they also could do their mitzvahs in the proper way, that there is a bitle there, and it's not going to come to Yeshis. The mitzvah is understanding the Hemshech Rambam. This explains also what the Rambam says further. This is what the Rambam says. Like we said before, they have to do it because the Eivish by Matan Teire said that the going should do it, Told us through my shabbat. But if a guy does his seven mitzvah because his intellect tells him, he's not called from the chsidu mitzvah. He's not that cat. He's a fine. See, there are two gears in Amba. One gear is the Rebbe says, he's not called chsidu mitzvah, but he's called a chacham. But the real gears, the, the accepted gear is that he's not from the chsidu mitzvah and he's not even called a chacham, not from their scholars. Why not? It's not understood. Since we're talking about a person who does it because he has proper, he safely understands he has to do it. But what is there? Why is it not from the Chachamim? He's not from the Chassidim. The Chassidim and Salem have to do because they wish He's doing it because of Seichel. So he's only a Chacham. A Chacham he should be. Why is it not even a Chacham? Well, the answer is, well, the Shas is felt by the Bnei'ah, the Akkorah, the Adizar, Obhaim, the Kunid, and the Matan Teirah, when the Goy is missing this realization that what he does is connected to Yidin, connected to Matan then even the seichel won't work. Like we said before, if you do it only with seichel, sof kosov, you connect it to yeshes. So your seichel won't even really work. So he's not even a chokhmah, because that's not the real chokhmah. 
The real chachma is when it's pure chachma, which means the pure seichel when you do it with bittel. And if he doesn't know, he's not even a chacham because the chacham is not going to last. Because soft to soft, it's not, it's not the true bittel to David, which is the real nefesh asichli is the way it's supposed to be. But the guy doesn't have it. But if he connects it to a yid, then he has that too. He called on Albert Nechma Shten in the Kudim Shtepes in the Kepo Lashon Mishnah in the Ersh Tabov and we divided the Kedavos. He said like this, there are three parts of this Mishnah. And they, they all similar. First part of the Mishnah against, which the preacher again said, that a person is beloved because he was created with Salem with the image of Hashem. And he says double. And means this, as we said before, the first part goes on the goy, the second goes on the Then by Yidin, the second part is the Yidin are beloved, that they're called Bonim Lamakim. There's extra chiba, extra love that they're called Bonim Lamakim. That's the second part. The third part, beloved. Are the Yidin that they were given the Klechem, that they were given the Torah. Extra love that they were given the Torah. So we see a common way of writing the Mishnah. The first part of the Mishnah has two parts, the second part has two parts, and the third part. Now, the first part, we understand why there are two parts, because we're talking about the Nefesh HaSichlis, and one part is talking about Yidin, one part is talking about Goyim. What about the other parts? In the second part, it says, Blubber that Yidin, they're called children today, Bishter. And then we repeat it again. Extra love that they call by the Then the third part, Chavivim Yisrael Shenikolam Klechemdo, the love that even that they were given this Klechemdo, the Torah, Chiba Yisrael Dasam is Klechemdo. What's the double here? And there must be the double, must have some double meaning. So the Rebbe explains, Eich and the Tzvei Bovis is Pech Dushes Meir Rechom Yad Mur Mepharet, the Friedrich Rebbe explains even in the other two parts, the Mkefal Alosh and Mechol Bovel, why it's double in each part. Chavivim Yisrael and Chiba Yisrael Dasam. It's like the second part, it's like the third part, has two parts. Just like in the first part, it goes on two separate madregas, Yidin and Goyim. This also, this only talks about Yidin, obviously, both parts. But they're each one of the two, the second and the third, also have two madregas. Chavivim Yisrael, Chiva Yisrael, and Da'aslam, Shnikrabonim Lamokim. That, the, this one it says that the Yidin are beloved and the extra love that they were called Bonim Lamokim. This, he says, Gate as Gufam Shal Yisrael, or Mylas. Why does it say two things? Because by a yid, he is beloved for two things. His nish goof is beloved. David shall love his body, and David shall love his nisham, nefesh lekis. That's why it says why. Chavivim Yisrael and chibah Yisrael in Das land. One goes on the gufam shall Yisrael, and the other one goes on nefesh lekis and the nisham of it. The third part, which is chavivim Yisrael and chibah Yisrael in Das land, that goes on teira, also two parts. Gate of Gali Shem and teira, pnimis and teira. Teira also has two parts. David gave us the revealed part of the Torah, Nigel the Torah, and gave us the Pnimis of the Torah, the secrets of the Torah. When Eich in them is the Kavon al Derech Anal Benigid and Kefal Aloshin Deresh Tebov, just like we said in the first part of the three, the meaning of the double. Here also, as Chaviv and Yisrael is opening in the Chibi Yisrael and Das land, that why are Yidin beloved is dependent on the second. We said before, why is by a goy the Tzalem good, the Nefshel Sichlis, if he's connected to the Yids, Nefshel Ki. So this. First part is dependent. When is the first part strong? If the second part, that's what we said in the first part of the Mishnah. When is the Nefesh HaSichlis of a Goy proper? If he's connected to the Nefesh HaSichlis of a Yid. So the same thing here also. The Chvives, we said in the first, in the, the two parts of the second part of the Mishnah, that one part goes on the Guf, one part goes on the Neshama. So here's the same thing. The Chvives from Guf HaMishan Yisrael, Heik Top and Mayos HaMishan. The love that Ebesh has to its body, is because he loves the neshama. So the first part, which goes on the body, is based on the second part. The Giret Amol Baruch as he spoke once before, at the Bechiras Hakadosh Baruch in the Guf and Aidin Vat Nikva in Guf Bipnei Miusid of the Avetis Neshama. The fact that the Eved that chose the Yid's body, in certain Tanya, the Eved that chose the body of the Yid, that is when is it established? When does it go into a Pnimius into the body? That concept that the Eved that chose the Guf is when the neshama does a job. But the part Kazayin Hametzias Meilu Sheilam Chelik Al Mabo. That's what is possible. There should be somebody who doesn't have a share nail my bow, which means Shagufam called the Gimara that his body is destroyed completely, never again comes back. Alpha Pia Bagay the Nishama of Naidin is in Shaykh Din and Hefsh Khashom. The Nishama can get lost. So we see that when is the Nishama complete? When it takes from the when is the body being complete proper, Chaviv, when it's connected to the Nishama. So here we see that the second part in the middle section where it says, Yidin are beloved. And again, Eden, our beloved extra. 
The first part goes on the goof because then goes on the shamer. The first part depends on the second. Why is the goof beloved? When is it stronger? Nikva established and put into it in a permanent way when the Nisham is doing the job. Well, that is happening again. The third part also, the third part also has two parts. The David gave loves Eden that he gave him the Torah and the Tiba Yisraeli gave him the Torah. The first part goes on Nigla, the second part goes on Pneumis. It's also one connected to the other. When you learn Nigla, but you also have Pneumis, you said Limit on Nigla, Nasa Lisham Chaim. So the learning Nigla becomes a medicine. Because the Gemara says, if you learn Torah properly, it becomes Sam Chaim as a medicine. If you learn Torah without Bittel and things like that, it becomes Sam Amal, becomes poison. So Pneumis Ateira gives you that feeling of the Gdusha of Torah. So Pneumis Ateira makes the Nigla learn properly. So here we have the complete shot in the whole Mishnah, all three found. Each one has two parts to it. And we see the, the first two, it goes on two things, on the Goy and the Yid, the Nefshah Sichos of the Goy and the Yid. Then it goes on the Love Day, which has the Yid, from the Gufa and the Neshama. And the third part is David Shtereza loves Ayid because he gave him Nigla the Torah, Pneumis Atayra. And in all three parts, the second half of it is connected based on the first. And it's all based that way we touch, according to the, it takes us on to that the first part goes on Goyim. But Ayid also have it, but they have it in a different Madrege. And the Goyim's part is connected to the Yid's part. And the same thing with the other parts of the Mishnah.